What's up, YouTube? Well, I got the diesel heater in. If you watched that video, the previous videos, uh, I had a little bit of a struggle, but you know, work these things out. So the next part of that was um, that we wanted, we took that fold down table out and we want to build a cabinet over top of it till we have more storage. And we plan on elevating that up so that the diesel heater will have airspace below it because they do get pretty warm when they're running. So um, we went off to Home Depot looking for some cabinets like these, potentially. Uh, we had room, we could put 36 inches in there, 30 inches, we could kind of work somewhere between 30 and 36 inches. We looked at Home Depot, we looked at Lowe's, we thought about just building them ourselves. Um, and then on the way out of the Home Depot, Shelly said, hey, let's look at these toolboxes, which kind of shocked me because I was like, what? I didn't even know that was on the options plate. So anyhow, after we checked at Lowe's and Home Depot and Harbor Freight, we found the toolbox that would work for our situation, which in the end, it worked out really great because it gave Shelly more storage and it allowed us to have a, a metal cabinet that we didn't have to be as worried about the heat and it just fits great. So the biggest problem was figuring out how to make it removable so that we could service the, the diesel heater. Okay guys, here's the continuation of the diesel heater. It wasn't just the diesel heater. We took this drop down table off and that's where the diesel heater is now. And I just cut a channel in this thing around up the sides here so that hopefully it will just yeah. oh yeah there we go yeah now I'm going to uh, secure this feed cable back here in the corner so that so the idea is when we need to service the diesel heater, this thing will just roll out from over top of it. And it gives us uh, airflow underneath the cabinet so the diesel heater doesn't get over hot. It lets the fresh air come in the back. I've got the front. I've got that all situated so I can just scoot them behind as the wheels roll in. So thinking when this is all done I'm still struggling with how to anchor this to the wall or to the floor in a way that would be easy to take it off and on but one step at a time okay guys so here it is we've got it completely installed the top is back on it we've got the ventilated skirting around the bottom and we hooked that on with magnets and we've got a latch holding it down to the wall over there so let me show you how it all comes apart. And we chose to only use one vent, huh? Yeah, I changed over to one vent because the room is so small it didn't really, and that was making it hard to roll the cabinet over top of it. So, and then over here is this, this pocket is like, this is her drawing board. And uh, the skylight covers will come off and they tuck right in there. So that's why there's a piece of foam matting on here so the magnets don't try to hook these to the toolbox instead of letting them slide in there. But all we have to do to remove it, to get to the diesel heater to service it, is just take off at the magnets here. So that piece comes off like that. And this one pops off and that just comes unhooked there. And then here we've got a toggle bolt. So now it's just got this blocking that holds it in place. So all I have to do if I want to work on the diesel heater is just pick this up and over. Like that. And now it'll just roll out. 
So now you can see the there's the docking spot for the wheels down there. So we can get in there, clean the dirt out, blow out, you know, clean the fan, whatever we need to do. And we mounted the um, power cord to the wall. Yeah, let me move this. Yeah. yeah, so we've got that all mounted so that the wheels can't get tangled up in it. So the only thing that's tricky it is, at all is when you put it back, the swivels will want to turn around the other way. So when I get to this point, I have to get down here. And uh, this has to go around like that. And that will just go up and... Put that back in. This one you have to get down here and put the hose back on it. That's easy enough. And then uh, this just slides up there like that. So I just use that magnetic tape on these and I don't know, we'll see, but behind these we've got the blocks, so if you do kick them, it, uh, it stops them and it won't bend up this metal, so. Okay, guys, I am loving this cabinet. It's way better than, than what I had envisioned, and I'm glad that we went with this toolbox because, like Randy said earlier, it's given me a lot more options um, for storage and what I've done is I've stored all of my art supplies in here so now it makes our multi-purpose great room even that more um, friendly usable for when I want to do my artwork and so and having the heat back here is an added bonus man I am loving this room even more now so we just are so grateful that you guys are following us on this journey and we love sharing all of the things that we do to our home even as, if it's as simple as adding a new diesel heater, um, we just love sharing it with you guys. So thanks for watching, and we will just catch you guys in the next video. Love to you all. Bye.